Thanks so much for this opportunity. I'm Amy Lenz. I'm a research instructor in orthopedics at the University of Utah. Uh, it's great. I didn't always expect to end up in orthopedics, though I have been really involved in biomechanics ever since I was an undergrad at the University of Wisconsin uh, at Madison. My undergrad in biomedical engineering really got me involved in the medical field and wanting to understand the function of the human body better. And I started doing neuromuscular biomechanics work uh, as an undergrad with Daryl Thalen, and it really sparked my interest to continue in this pathway. So then I went to the University of Delaware and got my master's in mechanical engineering, um, doing an investigation of gait coordination in patients following a stroke and looked at a lot of musculoskeletal modeling. And that was the first time I really was able to interact with patients and realize how complex the human body is and how we need to approach it with a unity between surgeons and engineers, really. And so then I applied that to um, patients by working at a rehab hospital for a few years. And then I also went back for my PhD at Michigan State University in mechanical engineering um, and investigated the health of amputees' limbs with below the knee amputations and how socket fit influenced pressures for formation. And, and that was, I'd say, my first piece really into orthopedics, um, looking at the influence of uh, amputation on quality of life and function and long-term outcomes. And that really sparked my interest to dive into orthopedics more. So I moved to the University of Utah to work in the orthopedic research lab with Andy Anderson for a postdoc and just couldn't believe how exciting it was to be in a clinical setting. Our lab is inside of the orthopedic center. So there's ORs and clinic, everything in the same building where we're conducting research. And so after a couple of years of doing a postdoc there, I transitioned to faculty because I just fell in love with the complexity of foot and ankle orthopedics and realized that it's a very long-term uh, exciting path ahead in orthopedics. Oh, sure. Great. Mm -hmm. So my lab is currently focused on foot and ankle orthopedic biomechanics. We come at this in a combination of experimental and computational methods. We use biplane fluoroscopy to investigate in vivo kinematics, also do a lot of image processing of weight-bearing CT scans in order to look at morphology and particularly use computational modeling to evaluate shape and anatomy using statistical shape modeling. And the overall arching goal of my lab is to really fuse these two pieces together to investigate form and function in foot and ankle biomechanics in order to help treatment planning for patients with end-stage osteoarthritis at the ankle or subtalar joint, as well as other pathologies and deformities affecting the function of the foot and ankle. I've had such a wonderful experience so far in my almost five years being involved in ORS. I hadn't become involved until I was a postdoc, and so many opportunities were really presented to me by joining ORS. I think first and foremost, I received the ORS Stryker Women's Fellowship during my postdoc, and that tremendously propelled the work that I was doing into what a lot of my lab is currently doing and new lines of research that I've grown outside of that wonderful opportunity and the support from that fellowship. So I now bring my whole lab to ORS and we have nine accepted abstracts for this upcoming February 2023 conference. And I just can't wait because I've benefited so much from the networking and welcoming scientific environment of ORS that I want to afford that opportunity to my students as well so that they can grow. Oh yeah, I, I feel very lucky being at the University of Utah with the mountains literally behind our campus. And so I love spending time in the mountains with my amazing husband and our dogs. We often go mountain biking, cross country skiing, downhill skiing, um, and just getting out in nature is the thing that really fuels my life. And I enjoy doing it on a, a weekly basis here in Utah.